Hello everyone, and in particular any One Piece fans out there. So I've had this hobby of taking card games that I like and re-theming them so that they become more visually appealing. So I'm going to show you these cards that I put together using Microsoft Word. I'm making a One Piece version of the old card game Battle Line. Now there are some major spoilers in here, so if you aren't caught up with the anime, uh, fair warning here and now, there will be spoilers. Now, as for uh, the, the card game itself, Battle Line came out in the year 2000. It's a two-player strategy game where you battle over these territories and use these formations to try to outwit your opponent, and whoever takes more territories by the end wins. It's a pretty simple game, easy to learn, but a fair bit of strategy involved. I really enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, you can see some of the artwork down there. Uh, the original artwork for the game was using like these Greek soldiers. But I actually already re-themed this game once uh, with artwork from the Kingdom Rush mobile game. Uh, that game just had enough fantasy creatures and stuff that it fit really well. I was able to really easily put together this version, which I really enjoyed uh, playing with friends. Uh, but then I started watching One Piece like a year and a half ago and watched over a thousand episodes during that time. Yeah, I'm a pretty big fan now. So then I had the idea, why not make a One Piece version? So here it is. Now, there are six colors in the game, representing six different factions, and then there are ten cards per color. Uh, obviously, One Piece has so many characters that uh, the difficult thing was choosing which ones to include in the game. I just picked some of my favorite characters, the ones I wanted to see uh, when playing. So, first up, we've got the Straw Hat Pirates, Mugiwara no Ichimi, and it was just the exact right number to include all of the members. So yeah, that worked out really nicely. In general, the higher numbers are stronger, uh, but the way that the formations work in the game, uh, there are ways that the lower numbers can beat uh, the higher numbers if you have like the right combos. Next up is the Sayak no Sedai, the worst generation of pirates uh, with uh, Trafalgar Law at the top and Beppo at the bottom for some reason. I was debating whether or not to put like the full name because a lot of these characters, you know, they have a first and last name. But I figure i just keep it simple and just go with uh, the last name for a lot of them. Oh, and the bottom I do have the name written in Japanese as well. Uh, next up we got the Marines here. A mix of older and newer characters. Of course, pretty much all of these are like post time skip. And, oh, I should mention that the, the artwork for 99% of these is from the mobile game One Piece Treasure Cruise, which I have never played, but it has a lot of nice uh, art, uh, which is all done in the same style. Characters from the Dress Rosa arc here. Uh, obviously, not all of them were on the same side, but again, just characters that uh, I liked in particular or wanted to see in the game. Of course, Sabo at the top there doesn't even live there, but uh, yeah, he showed up, of course, at the end of the arc, so included him in this category. Then we got Wano Kuni. Man, it took forever to get through this arc, but it was a good one. Lots of memorable characters and events. And then finally, the Egghead arc, which we are on right now, uh, which I just started watching like two weeks ago. But uh, yeah, I really like uh, the, the characters from this and wanted to see them in the game. So here they are. And then these are the territories that you'll be fighting over. Now, in the original Battle Line game, uh, the territories don't actually have any like special rules. But if you want a bit more of a, a challenge or more strategy, uh, you can use these cards, which uh, each of them require something else in order to claim the territory. And then finally, there are the tactics cards. I believe they're called in the original battle line, but I, I've made them into these uh, hero cards, uh, which have powerful effects that can uh, turn the tide in your favor. And again, debated on which characters to use for this, but I decided to go for mainly uh, a bunch of the you know key villains that show up in the series. So yeah, that is all you need in order to play this game. Now, obviously, copyright, so I can't actually distribute this game or anything, but I uh, thought that it would be nice to share and maybe it'll inspire some people. And also, uh, if you have any ideas for card games or board games that you think would be a good fit to make a, a One Piece version for, let me know in the comments, because uh, I actually don't really know a whole lot of games. I'm sure there's a lot out there. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and Johnny!